I was originally going to title this, Why is Kevin Sabat such an asshole? Hey, everybody, and thanks for hanging out for whatever time you're at. Uh, like I said, I originally was going to call this, Why is Kevin Sabat such an asshole? But there's more to it than him, but he is marijuana enemy number one. Now, let me walk you through my rabbit hole. So recently in the marijuana moment, uh, the CIA, oh, keep running, there we go. The CIA has put out, hey, uh, your recreational use for drugs is not all bad. So this takes me back to when the FBI last year uh, was saying how, uh, you know, they're looking for hackers and they're going to overdo, overlook uh, cannabis drug testing. So obviously people who consume uh, recreationally are not horrible people, right? So why should you care about Kevin Sabat and his uh, doings? And, and honestly, he's not the only one. So let's, let's go through it. Who is he? Who is this motherfucker? All right. Uh, you got a Wikipedia page. Uh, he talks about, they talk about his uh, involvement in drug policy. Now, here's my beef with this guy, right? When we take advice from people, when, when people are trying to reach out to you, uh, do you take advice? Say you're doing woodwork. Do you take advice from a carpenter? Or do you take advice from an electrician? I'm just saying, like, so this guy, Kevin Sabat, uh, in his history, he went from college to straight government, right? So this guy has no work experience, no uh, uh, professional experience. So in my book, you guys, he's already uh, a loser. He's not He's not me. He's not an American. He's not the average Joe, some dude trying to uh, just go to work, uh, make money, and go home. What up, Mohawk? Um, so let's talk about his organization, Sam. Now, Sam sounds really, sounds like they're a pro marijuana group, right? Uh, smart approaches to marijuana. No, they are not. Um, these motherfuckers have been postponing, uh, legalization, recreational under like political speak, right? There's never enough testing. Uh, it's a social epidemic. We don't want big marijuana to take all the money. I mean, these, these guys are running up the stupidest, ridiculous arguments. And then this shit right here with the COVID thing. Oh, I got, I got, I got more information for you next in the next article I talk about. But so this is the organization, right? We, there's so many out there, uh, students for sensible policy, uh, DAPA, you know, they're all good. They're all for drug sensible approaches, but not Sam. Sam is hundred percent prohibition and that they're funded by our government, by DEA grants. Now, you can find that information. Um, there's a book that was out a while ago, and it's a great book, Grassroots, uh, The Rise and Fall and and Rise and Fall and Rise of Marijuana. It just talks about uh, legalization. Downtown Chicago hearing. You know, oh, right on. Thanks, dude. Uh, so here in Big Marijuana, in the, um, in the book, they talk about Big Marijuana, Kevin Sabat's fear of big marijuana. This motherfucker doesn't care about big marijuana. What he wants is no marijuana, right? They, they talk about uh, uh, sensible policy, but they keep knocking it down. They don't allow research. Um, I would like to say and, and, and show you guys that I am one of the honorees of being blocked by Kevin Sabat on Twitter. This guy does not like arguments and uh, uh, even like intellectual arguments. I don't rant and rave and say F you and all this other stuff on Twitter as much as I want to do. And, you know, I try and be, I want to, I want to understand their side and try and turn them on our side, but these guys are not hearing it. They're making up their own shit all the time. So let's get into it. Uh, here he tweeted recently. I had to find someone others to capture me. This guy is saying, if you think we're going to let a federal agency give federal tax dollars to drug businesses, breaking federal law, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this is all he comes out to is uh, you're breaking federal law. Whereas we have what, nine recreational states, uh, over 30 medical states, and, and, and you're telling me it's still uh, an issue? It's still uh, the zombie apocalypse going to happen, dude? No, it's not. So why I'm talking about this asshole in particular, he came out with an article again in the uh, New York Post uh, talking about how, sorry, pot shops, not essential business, right? This guy thinks uh he's he's somebody man so 
he is not a doctor, even though I'm trying to find his byline because it does say PhD somewhere in his fucking thing. Uh, well, here it says Kevin Sabat, but let's just get into it. Um, he talks about how the coronavirus, uh, he says cannabis makes it worse. It, it doesn't. You can't argue with stupid, and they always listen to their own logic. That, that is true. I mean, politics has shown us year and year again, but I think really what I'm trying to do is just show you everybody that Kevin Sabat is the number one. Sam, not a good organization. These are not pro-marijuana, not pro-intelligent, pro-conversations. Uh, this jackass uh, talks about, oh, here we go. So let me make this bigger for you guys to see. This guy twisting words into his own how he wants it. So he, in a recent, he, he cites a blog post in the National Institute of Health uh, by one of these doctors, Dr. Nora Volko. Uh, and he even quotes puts fucking quotes on his thing right so here we go we got quotes let me make it bigger for you again does this jackass oh, come on uh, i can't slide the bottom thing oh wait maybe i just use arrows all right i apologize for all my lack of technical um this we are a homemade whatever anyways uh I've, I've included all the links so you guys can follow through but this jackass is talking about how it's lungs and shit. So I, I went to the actual article and there is no reference to marijuana in this post control F there. Yeah. Wanna. Oh, look, it blanked out. Oh, how about we try cannabis? Let's see. Let's see if cannabis, maybe uh, Kevin just uh, misinterpreted the words and the doctor wrote. Can nope. Nope. No cannabis. Oh, wait, but there is vape. Let's look at vape. And let's see what actually the doctor said. Man. So the actual thing that the doctor posted, not Kevin's fucking made up tweet. Uh, the actual post talks about patients with a compromised immune system, as we already know. And then when it talks about vaping and smoking, and it just talks about all drugs in particular. People who smoke or vape or use opioids or meth, chronic opioid uh, conditions, heavy breathing. Uh, here we go. Smoke, vape, or use opioids or meth again. Again, no mention of the word cannabis, marijuana. So, jackass, I mean, Kevin, uh, made it the uh, the quote in his own, uh, his own line, his own uh, pretext, right? So, and again, he attacks. So here again, he's in another article with the local news agency. So here's the biggest issue, folks. Here's, here's why I'm so like, here, let's fuck this guy. It's because he has a voice. He had a voice in the Obama administration because he misled. I think he misrepresented uh, who he is as far as somebody with concerns about citizenry or fellowship, right? We're here to make it so, one, people don't go to jail. Two, people get their medicine. And three, we have a, just an overall understanding of like drugs, right? We we understand and respect what too much is or not enough, depending on what you're into. But the thing is, it's not our place to to, to tell people how to live. Um, you know, we already have a fucked up epidemic as it is with mental health, but it's not addiction. I mean, there's some addiction problems, but we don't treat addiction. We incarcerate. And that's the unfortunate part. Oh, here's the PhD part, right? So I'm not a doctor. But neither is Kevin. Uh, I think his doctorate's in like uh, sociology or some shit like that. So, again, misrepresentation of who he is because he, he he talks about the immune system. He talks about, but it's it's pick and choose science, right? Uh, and I guess you could say the same with me. But hey, folks, I'm an asthmatic, so I uh, live what I've talked. Um, uh, it helps me. I have not. Uh, collapse my lungs. COVID will affect you more if you have a permanent damage. Yeah, exactly. Nothing really. Weed does, is not toxic. So again, uh, the immune system. Project CBD has a nice little article that shows some studies with HIV and uh, increase uh, white blood cells for people who consume cannabis. Uh, we all know about the endocannabinoid system, which is also in our bone structure. Uh, and that's where uh, marrow, you know, white marrow and white blood cells come from. Uh, here we go. Another article in a Europe, uh, mag, uh, uh medical uh, website talking about the immune system and more with the white blood cell count. 
Now, again, I am not a doctor, neither is Kevin, but this guy right here, uh, Gershon Zajik, I totally killed your name, dude. So sorry. But he just talks about it's not, it's not a cure, but it can help you get better because it helps the immune system. It helps with your immunities, right? Uh, we are in such denial as uh, a society, I think, and Americans, people who are just catching on that um, cannabis is medicine. And it's unfortunate that uh, so many people have been sick and suffering for this, uh, just for our right to understand uh, that it is. Um, so, hey, I appreciate your time. Uh, if you have time, you should tweet to Kevin and say, fuck you. And then follow me on Twitter if you want. Uh, I, I think my Twitter handle was, uh, let's see what it is. I, I, I always respond on online shit, but let's see. I, my handle is, I, you know what? I don't know what my fucking handle is. You know what? Biggie 420. There it is. Just one thing. So you just look up Biggie 420. You'll find me. Till next time or tomorrow. Peace.